coach getting ready to go up north to do a, a kind of a Big Ten swing. Sort of, what was the idea behind scheduling those those two matches? Yeah, it's, the girls are excited to play a different kind of opposition. I don't think it's been uh, I think it's been a long time, if at all, since Mississippi State's played a Big Ten opposition. So this is super exciting for us as a program. Um, two really good teams that'll give us great preparation. Um, to see where we're at right now, but also obviously putting us in good standing for future games in the SEC. What are you kind of looking at on film and things as you're preparing for Minnesota? What, what can you say about that team? Very physical, very organized, fast, aggressive. Um, you know, they're, they're dynamic going forward, but they're also very tight and organized defensively. So, you know, they're a really good squad and, you know, a team that's going to come out and, and defend their home territory, um, just like we expect them to do. So we're excited to, uh, to test ourselves against a very good Minnesota team. And in Iowa as well, just what do you have on them? Yeah, Iowa, obviously a uh, NCAA tournament team, made a good run last year, Big Ten champions, um, you know, playing on their home field as well. So, you know, we're keeping our eyes on Minnesota right now, but know that we'll soon have to turn around and prepare to play a very good Iowa team as well. You've talked before about kind of the, the benefits of going on a, a lengthier road trip yeah. like this and the time with the team. Kind of um, at this stage in the season, what, what do you hope to get out of that? It's a great time to spend time together. You know, obviously the girls will still have study hall, still have tutoring when they're on the road, you know, virtually. Um, but for us, it's a time to just sit down together, have meals together, you know, be able to have some meetings, individual meetings that we haven't always got time for now that school's back in session. So we'll still have our focus on academics, but it'll be nice to get away from Starkville and, and really spend some time, some quality time together as a group. And then just sort of, you're, you're two and two at this point in the season. Yeah. What have you seen so far and what are you working towards in, in training, getting ready for this weekend? The group's working really hard, you know, they're still ambitious, they're still hungry, they still want to improve each game. Um, I think we've done that. We had a little bit of a drop off in our last game, but um, you know, we still got the result um, and the girls were adamant that they wanted to have a really good week of training, which is what we've had this week. So, you know, it's just getting better each and every single day and preparing for the next game.